Bullets fly inside a popular Wauwatosa bowling alley. A man clings to life tonight. A search for this gunman considered armed and dangerous. People dodge bullets inside a packed Valero lane, sending them rushing for cover at closing time. And now police need your help finding the man accused of shooting up the bowling alley on Burline near Highway 45. 12 News' Nick Bohr is at Freighter Hospital where the victim is critically hurt. The 30-year-old Milwaukee man is recovering here after surgeries to remove bullets from his chest and abdomen after he was shot at a place best known for family fun. The well-known Bolero is quiet on a weekday afternoon, but a fight early Saturday led to bullets flying inside the then-crowded bowling alley. Wauwatosa police say this man opened fire at close range, firing multiple shots, hitting the man he was fighting with. Originally, we were bowling, and there was words exchanged between the two groups on the bowling alleys, and then... At closing time, as people were beginning to leave, it escalated and turned into, again, this physical fight and then ultimately led to the shooting. He got away before police arrived. He did flee with the gun in his hand, so we believe the individual is still armed, uh, considered to be dangerous. The Bolero is owned by AMF Corporate. A spokesperson there telling us, quote, it is an ongoing investigation, so we can't speak about it, but we're cooperating with all the local authorities. We've learned that cooperation includes providing video of the actual shooting, giving police some very valuable evidence against the suspect. So if anybody can identify the suspect or help us out in the investigation, please give us a call. And uh, so hopefully we can get this individual and this gun off the street. <laughs> The police say the man's injuries are serious, but he's expected to survive. At Freighted Hospital, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.